Hello everyone and welcome to the microcode introduction video. Microcode is a code editor for the Microbit V2, which is that. Microbit V2 is a programmable pocket-sized computer distributed by the Microbit Foundation used in school to teach coding. And Microcode is a new editor that doesn't have text and is also very much easy to navigate using the keyboard. So something to check out. Now to get started, if you have, you will need a Microbit V2 connected to your computer, and then you're going to want to download the hex file that is linked here. Once you're done with that, click connect to get the WebBSD connection. All right, so I'm going to do that. And of course, it's going to remember my connection, and the next time I come with the same Microbit, it will be uh, just connecting up and I take over the two. I'm using the arrow keys to move around on the keyboard and I'm not going to use the mouse in the rest of the demo. Oh. All right, so now clicking sample, you can see that there's a bunch of fun activities to just load, but you can also, in this demo, we're going to do a new program, which lands you in an empty editor. Now what you're seeing is the first rule of the program and rules have a when part, which is the event, and when is going to be based on all the sensors on the microbit, for example. Buttons, the accelerometer, the microphone. And what we're going to do here is take a button press and we're going to select button A as the actually button B, the button we want to handle. And there's, no, so when we detect that B is pressed, we're going to do something. And the do part lets you do things with the screen, like showing an image with the speaker, or for example, sending radio messages. All right, so let's do a show image, and we're going to add the, the smiley face. If you're in a dialog like this, so here you can tell which LED is turned on on the 5x5 five five LED matrix. If you need to leave the editor, either press backspace or keep moving up. It will uh, pop out of the editor. All right, now the code is already running in the microbit. I press B, you can see that it has a smiley. If you pay attention closely, when I add another image, I'm going to update the animation here. And when I get out of the editor, you'll see on the microbit screen that there's a little LED that goes around. And that means we just downloaded the program into the microbit. So that's the new code is already in the device by the time you try to press the button. The microcode is instantaneous. The code is immediately downloaded to your device. You don't have to do anything. You can add as many rules as you want. So for example, we can do something about button A. In that case, we can show a duck as one of our favorite drawing. Maybe also maybe a dog or something like that, some kind of animal. And you can add a number of variations. We can make it run. So now if I press A, I get my other animation going on. If you have a cool animation, you want to cycle it. You can also add a repeat. By default, this will repeat forever until uh, you try to run something else on the screen, or you can also add how many times you want it to repeat. We're going to say three times. If I press D, I'm going to get three times my smiley and smiley animation. And these dots are numerals, so they add up. For example, we could do three plus two, that's going to be five rotation, five iteration of my animation sequence, and then stop. All right, so we've seen that we can add as many rules. We can also add rules on the same event. So for example, I can also say that if you press button A, not only you show an image, but uh, you're going to play the giggle sound. Um, if I press button A now, you have the giggle sound, which didn't make it to this microphone, but you can trust me on that. All right, so that's uh, that's basically the rules. The next feature that is very oops, that is very interesting in in microcode is pages. There are five pages, basically five independent sections of the code that are going to run. You all you're only going to run the rules of the page you're on. And this is very interesting because, for example, um, you can do intro sequences, then move on to a different state of the game, and then a different state of the game, like game over. So for example, here, um, instead of 
here what we're going to do is let's let's do this rule. Uh, we're going to say that after so this is a timer after five seconds we're going to switch to page two. Okay, so we're going to we're going to be here and then after five seconds switch to page two. And on page two we're going to when we start the page uh, we are going to go a scroll image. Let my scroll. All right. So, to recap what the code is doing, uh, the code is doing not much, but after five seconds, it goes. So, I'm going to reset the micro bit. We're in page one. I can press A. And then after five seconds, it's going to show the skull and move to the next stage. So that those pages are really nice. You can basically have dependent uh, code and move between um, this. Right, so let's, let's get rid of this. Um, the last thing, let's see, the next thing we want to look at is, bring this up, uh, variables. We have variables. Um, and what you can do is you can build your calendars, send your messages for things. So when I press button A, what I'm going to do is I am going to take this. I am going to take this actuator that stores the number into this variable X, which rendered at the top. And what I'm going to say is it's going to be previous value of X plus one. And the next rule is that whenever the, var the variable X changed to any value, well, we're going to show uh, we're going to show what's in the X now, the variable X. So this is basically a little counter. And you can see that I reset the device and it wasn't happy at all. So I'm going to go ahead. I see this, this uh, icon here. It means that there's there's no macro detected. So I'm going to click on that. And now it's connected again. Great. Which means that if I press A, um, I just built a little counter. Great. <laughs> and I can use that for a lot of applications. All right, so that's variables. You can read, you can assign, and then you can also have events when the variable changes. The last thing we're going to do is the chuck -a and how the radio works. Radio is one of the coolest features of the macro bit. So let's say we're handling button A, and what we're going to do is we're going to send a message using radio send to any other micro bit that's around. And we're gonna send, the message doesn't matter. You could send a number or a random number, but we're gonna, just gonna send a message, any message. And on the other side, well, actually let's send one. And on the other side, when you receive number one, actually, let me do something else. So whenever you send a message, you also clear your own screen. So when button is pressed, show, we're just going to empty the screen, we keep one dot so that we know that we press the button. So when I press button A, I send a message and I clear the screen. When I receive number one, I'm going to then show a dot. I know roughly a dot. No, no. Um, so, when I press A, and of course, it sends a message to a micro bit, and there are no other micro bits around. So, we're going to plug this one in to um, the battery and plug it. And we're going to bring micro bit number two here. Micro bit number two. Raise our cameras. And of course, now we've lost the connection because we've never seen that micro bit. So we have to do, we're going to click this and try to connect. We did connect. In fact, I press A. Ooh, send the dock. And if I press A again, you can see that 
but now a very nice radio based message. Really that makes it very easy for the students to do uh, radio. All right, so that's um, in a nutshell how you do coding. There's a lot of samples that you can look into. So if you go back to the home screen, um, examples, see that there's a lot of pro programs. Just select one and load it. You will erase your previous program. You need to be careful with that. Um, the way you can the way you can save your program is just copy the URL. The, pro the full program is in the URL at all times, so just copy paste the URL and send it to someone and you'll be good to go. All right, so that concludes uh, this quick demonstration about microcode. There's a few more features if you're looking for accessibility. You can turn on tooltip reading, which I can do in this demo, um, and so forth. The, the documentation is also available if you want to read about the sample and the annotations. And mostly, hopefully we made the system uh, simple enough that you can just take a look at the code and figure out what's happening. For example, in this one, we have a when on the move. We set the variable to a dice. So that, I guess it's a random number generator. And the next number between that is the range. So it's going to generate one or two. When, when x becomes one, we show the skull. When x becomes two, we show basically that means that in my demo here, whenever I shake it. Come on, skull. Oh yeah, there we go. That's the previous. All right, so that concludes the demo on microcode. AKA.ms slash M9. Hopefully, uh, you like it. Send us your feedback. If you, if your uh, students or kids or whoever is using that is not speaking English, we can, uh, we can help us translate it. See you online.